Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new screen team. I'm being joined by this lovely lady next to me. Her name is Laura Butler. She is the queen of picking awesome movies sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh, but this go around, we've got a lot of family-oriented movies to review. Uh, a little bit later, we're going to be reviewing the animated film Charlotte's Web. We're also going to be reviewing the animated film Ferdinand about a bull who goes into a china shop or something like that, right? No? No, not all at right. all. I was close. <laughs> um, anyway, but we're going to start off with a classic Disney film uh, back from the uh, 50s, I believe, Swiss Family Robinson. And... Um, when you get to know Laura, she she tells you a lot about her life. And Laura would always mention when she was younger, her and her brother, they'd always go to the uh, family video store, if you will. And they had a whole plethora of choices to choose from. <laughs> and they would always end up with Three the movies. same movies. <laughs> Robin Hood, Swiss Family Robinson. What's the third one? Well, there was actually four. Charlotte's Web was the other one, uh -huh. the animated version, and a movie called Thunderhead. <laughs> Thunderhead. Yeah, this is the son of Flicka, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll have to check out those two uh, later on. But first off, let's check out Swiss Family Robinson. This is a favorite of yours, and I enjoy it as well. I remember used to watching this film. Um, remember The Wonderful World of Disney? Mm -hmm. they, used to, they used to show this movie all the time on on the wonderful world of Disney, and um, I enjoy this film. We've got uh, we've got the family Robinson. They are for some reason where they they're like going somewhere. They're going to the new world. They want to have new opportunities, so they're on this ship, and all of a sudden the ship wrecks. They get into a big storm, and luckily they get into a wreck close to a deserted island. Yes. So. They get on the island. Luckily, they were able to salvage some of their supplies. They bring it on the island, and what are they going to do next? Well, they've got to figure out a way to survive, basically. Right. Um, so this family, we've got mom and dad, mm -hmm. and we've got, uh, what, two brothers? Three brothers. Three brothers. we got yeah. three brothers, and we've got a couple of dogs, and that's about it, right? Oh, gosh. There's so many animals. The youngest brother is... Um, the same child that plays Arliss on Old Yeller. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember his name, actually. But uh, he is crazy about animals, and he cannot tolerate any kind of meanness. He And he wants to capture everyone right. that he can get his hands on. And he has two dogs, two huge Great Danes named Duke and Turk, and they're kind of like his guardians. They follow him everywhere. And when they land on this jungle island, as most 10, so probably 10, 11-year-old boys would, mm -hmm. he, it's like his... I mean, it's like heaven for him because, I mean, it's yeah. the jungle and he's free to go everywhere and the dogs follow him around and kind of keep watch over him, but he gets into all kinds of trouble. He sure does. He catches an elephant. He captures a baby elephant. He, he wants to catch a tiger. Yes. That's like his big thing, man. He wants to catch Shere Khan. <laughs> um, the middle child, he's kind of like the, the smart one, right? The inventor? Yes. He's right? the oddball of the family. He's the one that kind of thinks outside the box, and he's always kind of looking for father's approval, mm -hmm. and he's closer to mother right. than he is to father. And uh, and then his name is Ernst. And then the oldest is Fritz, and he's just like his dad. He's got the, he's got yeah. the muscles. He's the tan with the muscles and the hard work and yeah. does just like his dad does, thinks like his dad does, always kind of... Well, think about the family. Do got to do what father said. Got to do what. Well, Ernst is more like, well, we got to do what we got to do to get things done. And so they disagree and butt heads a lot throughout this movie. When I was watching this movie um, as a young boy, I always found the cool parts of this film is when they finally made their home. Yes. You know, it's amazing. They, you want to live there. You want to live there. You know, <laughs> they got like, you know, refrigerators and running water and just, uh, you know, their own security system. Right. <laughs> Um, it's just, it's so cool to see that particular scene and how they end up living. And um, this movie is just a great family adventure. Yes. Um, does it still hold up for you? You know, you loved it as a kid. Do you still love it now? As a classic, yes. Mm -hmm. Like, I can I can watch it and I'm not as fascinated and thrilled by it mm -hmm. because I don't, I guess I've lost some of that, you know, the wonder that you, you got, have when you're a child. You got some gray hair, of course. Yeah, we understand. I don't have any gray hair. <laughs> I pluck those suckers. <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, it does. And for someone that's young, especially mm -hmm. little kids, and if you if you have seen it in the past, to share it with somebody that's younger, yeah. if they're not cynical, like my nephew's a little cynical. <laughs> so He's does, like, really? So he doesn't like this movie? No, no, I didn't really like it that much. Really? He, he was like, 
well, I know what's going to happen. They're going to do this. And, and then he, like, planned out the whole movie. Yeah. But that's just him. He's just too old for his age. But normal 10-year-olds, you know, it's it's got an element of adventure and a little bit of scary, you know, not terrifying, but yeah. just like... And, I mean, it has pirates and it has guns romance. and romance and, you know, adventure. So, I mean, it's something a lot of... Most kids that age would enjoy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I haven't seen this movie in, you know, 10, 15 years or so, but I I remember the feeling. And I, I still think this movie holds up and I still think it's uh, a great family movie. Yes. I really do. If they ever decided to remake it, would you be on board? Do you think it should be remade? If they remade it, I would... It would probably depend on who played what, mm -hmm. who who played the parts. Yeah. So, I mean, because they could screw it up really easily, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Who, who, would, who would you want to play the dad? The dad? Um, would he have to be, uh, an old, he'd have to be like in his 50s, right? What if George Clooney played the dad? No. No, no, George Clooney. Huh? No, he's, mm, he's too <clears throat> prissy. What if Nicolas Cage played the dad? Mm, no, he's kind of like harsh. I don't know. I can't think. I'm think trying to think of somebody English. Yeah. That would that could is that is there around that age that could play it, but I really can't think of anybody right now off the top of my head. Uh, I can see if he was older, mm -hmm. Benedict Cumberbatch playing the dad. Yeah, I could see that too. Yeah. yeah I could see that too. That's a, actually a good choice. Yeah. I like that. Uh, the movie's called Swiss Family Robinson, and of course, uh, give it a try for the entire family. I think you guys are going to like it. Absolutely. Coming up after the break, we're getting into the animated feature, Charlotte's Web. We'll get to that next on the screen team.